she's alive alive hey, Ed. how's it going um welcome to a new video um i wasn't expecting to do this one today but um I had a random burst of fucking energy and I've destroyed the fucking place, unloaded a load of boxes and here we are. So I've unboxed a fuckload of stuff that I've had in storage for God knows how long and I've got plenty of fucking horror punk stuff um, that's been boxed up so I've got it out and I thought fuck it, I'll, I'll do a video uh, and show some stuff. Um, there's fucking all sorts of shit uh, and it's fucking awesome. Uh, loads of different bands, signed stuff, uh, signed posters, uh, fucking DVDs, random fucking bits of merch, just the stuff that I've gathered over the years. So I thought, well, fuck it, let's make a video, um, try my new bits of kit that I've got while the camera's following me, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, but yeah, um, I've made a bit of a setup. Random shit. I don't know how long the video is going to be because I've got a load of stuff um, and what I might just do is show some bits um, and then if there's any, if it's, say I got it at a gig or anything like that, I'll uh, link um, a story to it and talk about either the gig and the experience. So it's a bit of a show and tell and some gig memories. So we'll see how we get on, shall we? Um, yeah, uh, I made a fucking mess. I've got a lot of tidying up to do, but fuck it, eh? Uh, right, I'm going to change my fucking camera uh, and get the setup uh, looking pretty sweet, and we'll go from there. So stick around me out if you're, you're interested in all this kind of stuff, and you can see all my cool shit. So, right, I'll just change this camera over, and I'll be with you. I'll see you on the flip. Right, so here we go. Where the fuck do I start? Right, I've got a little bit of, um, what shall we say, an order where I've got bits. So I'll, I'll just grab some random shit and we'll go from there, shall we? Right, first in the box, um, I've got everything falling over. But I come across my old signed Danzig CD that I've had for years. Look at my head. Um... I got this fucking years ago, and to be very honest, I thought I'd lost it because when I moved house um, and packed everything, there's a few things that um, I had which have gone fucking walkabouts, and I still don't be able to find to this day. So, um, yeah, um, I just thought I'm, you know, when I saw it, opened it up, I was like, fuck yeah, pretty cool. Um, nearly had the chance to meet Danzig. Once upon a time, uh, he played Manchester, and we went and we went to. It was outside waiting for him, and he came out, and he was signing for a few people, and then just before it was, it was a one person in front of me, um, turned around and got his shit signed, got a photo, and then he turned around and said to me, "He's like, oh, I need to go back in now for sound check." I was like, "Bastard!" He said, "He said, come back." <laughs> When it's finished, it'll sort you out, but it's like, that's what every fuck I was going to do. So I thought, fuck that. And I've not had a chance to see him uh, since. So that was my link to Danzig. I'll get him one day. Hopefully he come and does a, a tour or something over this side. Um, but yeah, since we're on CDs and stuff, I'll go for that kind of thing. Uh, but the spook, the DVD, this bad boy. Couple of stickers in there, but yeah, it's fucking awesome as fuck. This I love um, having live um, DVDs. I've got some more stashed away somewhere which I need to uncover yet. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I got to see the spook. Um, just seeing uh, Wolf School play at Hell Nights and they were fucking awesome. Uh, just a shame I didn't get to speak to them properly because it seems every time um i get close to them and see them play i never fucking see them after um but here's another one the ruined old shawnee p the tattooist it's a shame these guys aren't around anymore i got to see him play once um but they were fucking awesome 
uh, Peterborough Madness. But yeah, I used to love these. Uh, these albums that they did are fucking insane. Um, I can't remember where I picked this up, to be very honest with you. It's been a while, but yeah. Glad I got my hands on it, because they ruined a fucking badass. Um, but yeah, I need to go and see Sean. It's been a while since he went to that event. Um, so yeah, these are all just the fucking random items. I've got some... I'm going to put my rarest one at the very end, because that's just what you're doing it. But I don't know if anybody remember this fucking thing. This was... Uh, let me try and get it in fucking view. We made some hats, some cowboy hats, for when we went to see uh, uh, Ghoul Town play. Fucking years ago now. Um, but it was very makeshift. We did it. We pretty much did it at Monster's house and had to pin them on with different fucking pins and a fucking undead patch. But it was a great fucking gig, that. First time I went to London for a gig. So, um, yeah, it was a fucking random one. I think it was called The Big Red, where they were playing. Um, but yeah, I've, I'm glad I got to fucking see them because they're fucking badass cowboy, like cowboy shit and uh, horror. I can't go wrong. Um, but while I'm on there, I'll just show this as well, talking about Gold Town. Try and not fucking throw my shit everywhere. It's badass sign poster by them as well. Can't get it all in on fucking in the frame. But yeah, signed by the full band, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna get all this stuff framed. Um, I'm gonna uh, basically just all the stuff that I've got going. I've got loads of fucking different posters, and they've just been in storage. So I need to get them framed so they're all protected and not folded like that because it drives me fucking insane. Um, but yeah. Get them fucking framed up, get them up on the walls. Um, since I'm doing the signed posters, I'll do that quickly because they're a bit fucking big. Um, but this bad boy from Dead United. These guys are fucking awesome. I've said it a million times, but I'll keep on saying it. This fucking gig uh, was fucking insane. It was such a great night. Um, oh, flipped over again. Yeah. 2016 which is just fucking insane but yeah I, I saw them at fucking Kidderminster in the boar's head uh, they play with loop and tooth so good fucking memories for UK stuff it's uh, pretty much fucking dead nowadays the UK scene uh, for bands but you know with us at the undead 13 we're trying to keep shit going um, but yeah I fucking I miss Travelling about like we used to do, um, just random fucking laughs, doing random fucking shit, you were fucking awesome. Uh, but right, okay, the, this next lot is I'm going to do it by random items that I've got for different bands. Um, because I've got a load of fucking random shit here now, and everything's just falling over the place. But speaking of the UK scene, look at these bad boys, I'm going to just get everything to the shot. These are just all kept together. Um, but Army of Walking Corpses, that's an old gig ticket from when I went to go see them in Grimsby. Um, and then the CD. Um, what the badass logo. I've got this logo tattooed on my leg. Uh, but yeah, fucking great band. I've seen them many times. They're all doing different things now. Um, and they're just kicking ass. Uh, Nick and Jamie are in different bands. I think Dave's uh, tattooing again. Um, and doing his art stuff, which is pretty badass. But yeah, I wish them all fucking in the well, because uh, they were fucking such great dudes. Uh, i got some cool fucking memories with these, and it's good to have shit like this. Uh, but yeah, drumsticks. I love getting fucking drumsticks. I got, it took me fucking ages to get these off Nick. Um, but yeah, badass. That's the first one done. <clears throat> Make a bit of fucking room. Right. So tie in with Army of Walking Corpses and Loop and Tooth. Here's another uh, kick ass band which came into the UK tour. Um, the other 
this was fucking great tall when they came to the UK. We did loads of dates with them. Um, and I just, I've got I had a tendency of uh, taking these off and getting like <laughs> a collection of dirty fucking clubs posters. That was one of them. And then um, that was for the shed. And this one was the shed as well. This was on the fucking door, I think. Just a bigger version. Um, but yeah, uh, fucking great time. With I'll Be Damned as well. Uh, good fucking lineup, that. Really enjoyed these gigs. Um, yeah, it's just, like I say, it's just a shame now. It's like, you see all these at the bottom. Not many of these left now. Which is a shame. But yeah, uh, just kind of keep carrying it on. Rod from the other keeps doing Hell Night, so uh, that keeps going strong, which is always fucking awesome. Um, you can't go wrong with that. Oh, last thing that I got from the other. These bad boys. These are my favourite drum sticks that I've got. See them? Fuck yeah, dude. I got these at Hell Nights as well. Uh, I can't remember which year. I think it was... 2015 I think but yeah these badass drumsticks um, and then did these for a spell didn't they these uh, different comics but I've got quite a lot of uh, stuff from the other I've read it a couple of times so you know how much of a big fucking nerd that I am and But yeah, it's fucking awesome. Um, look at that. Ah, oh dear. Beautiful. Reminiscing like a mofo. But yeah, badass. Uh, I think I might get that framed as well because the artwork on it is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, I don't want that getting damaged. Um, and this, let's see how big it is. They did these. Uh, I use this now to put all my Germany stuff in. Magnets, CDs, and then they've got the. Came with a scarf, which I'm wearing at the minute because of how fucking cold it is. But yeah, this is uh, the casket case. Can I just read that right? 2017 that came out. Fuck me. But you've got these badass sign cards as well. Of all the band. Which is fucking awesome. The, the, the detail on these are so fucking cool. I try not fucking have the light reflect on it. But yeah, I'm going to get all these framed up. Because as the Hall of Brains is coming back, I'm just in the process of... Sorting everything out, I need to get some shells. I asked them to sign my box as well, but the pen wasn't great. <laughs> but yeah, um, Hall of Brains will be coming back, uh, which I can't wait to get up and running again, because um, it's been a fucking while, but I just need some shelving and all that kind of fun and games. Um, but as soon as it's done, I'm going to do a video of um, basically it all getting put back together and all that kind of shit. Because I think these kind of videos, uh, I try and make some new interest because it's a bit different, this kind of video. So they've all the normal shiz. Um, I thought I'd do that. Right, I'll go on to the next band. Um, these. Some Calabrese Brothers. I got this back in... Oh, let me drop my camera. It's when they did the UK tour. 2015, oof, <laughs> fucking shocking, um, 2015, they did a load of dates in the UK, um, and I basically went around like a weird stalker and went to a load of different dates for them, saw them play, because I thought, in my, in my head, I was like, this might be the only time I ever get to um, see them play, so I tried to do as many dates as I could, um, so I got a load of shiz over that tour to try and support them as much and then uh, got a nice giant back patch there it's, it's signed as well in silver pen I don't know if it's picking it up 
Yeah, look at that bad boy as well. That's fucking awesome. I'm putting on my jacket. Um, but yeah, it was a great fucking few dates. I took a load of video. This is when I first started doing the video. I was trying to get into it all. Um, and then... Uh, put that up there. Um, yeah. So, I'm hoping... Um, the, the Calabrese brothers come back and do... Um, some... Uh, European dates um, where and whenever where it is I don't I don't know but it'll be a case of be good to see him again and more fucking drumsticks got them signed as well which is pretty cool um, but yeah big up for especially with goals be playing with them now uh, on base that'd be fucking awesome to see that lineup um, I think that would be rather insane um, but yeah right next one next one next one speaking of horror punks germany i keep coming across these as well i've got my tickets hell nights for 2015. you see that's the lineup that's when yeah goals we played in the other um it's berlin that did a couple of dates for that tour i think um, so like I said, I've just got that much random shit out and about all over here since I've been unboxing everything. Um, speaking of... Oh, I've got more tins here. Look at this bad boy, I've not opened this, but this came... Blood sucking Zombies, fuck yeah. I've missed them on this fucking tour. They're doing a tour at the start of this year and I've missed it. And I'm so gutted because I would have loved to have seen them play. And then a massive back patch there. And then um, the tin that it came with, but now I use it. Let's see, this will be one for you. Fuck you know, I'm gonna try and open that. It's full of absolute random shiz. Patches, stickers, roving midnight stuff there. Some shadow wind up stuff looping teeth, all sorts of stuff. But I use this tin for um basically just uh putting in everything horror punk stuff, you know, it's a little a little storage place, it's fucking pretty decent. Uh, pop that down. Um but yeah, it's a shame that I missed them. I'm hoping um they could do some more tours at tour date some point this year, even if it's just a random date or two. I'll try and make it out um, and see them because they're always fucking awesome. Um, and now, I've, now that Richie's off drums, I'd like to see the new way they do it. Saw them with Hell Nights of the Year, but I'd rather see them on their own. Um, right, which pile next? Should we go for, we'll go for this one. You'll all know this guy. Old Goolsby, Goolsby Manjaro. Uh, but yeah, when he was doing the Rover Midnight stuff, um, he released a load of different bits. And you all know me that I'm into my tattoos. He did these uh, flash books. With different design, with different tattoo designs. Um, there's a bloody handprint on there. But it's nice and signed on there. Should have a quick look in this one just for now. If I can control my camera. But yeah, different designs that he's done. Um, yeah, pretty fucking cool. I've been. Um, Meaning to get something from it to be fair. I still need a Blitz Kid tattoo, surprisingly enough. But um I've got it on my list for doing. I'm running out of space. <laughs> That's why I'm getting this shit lasered off to start again. You know how it is. Um but yeah he did. What's this one here was 48 out of 50. Volume 2, this one. Yeah, all sorts of different tattoo flash, which is all fucking awesome. Um, I love this kind of 
when the merch like this is different, you know, it's, I've, I've always fucking loved it because I always get it. He did these as well. Side the inside of it there. <laughs> can hear, I don't need anything. I can see that. But yeah, they are pretty fucking awesome. That I'm gonna get a little like a mannequin head and then put it on it. But I've had all this stuff in storage for so long. It's so fucking good to get it be able to take it out and start getting shit back on display again. So I'll just pop you there a sec. Do, 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 do. Right. Yeah, we'll go for that stuff next. Um, you all know how much of a nerd that I am with collecting figures and shit anyway. Um, but I, I got these I got a few years ago as well. I don't know if anyone's... I know a few of you would have seen these. Excuse me, hand in the way. Let me open that up. But it's the Fiend. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, nice little fucking candle there. I'm, what I'm going to take it out, it has been out of the box before. Um, but now we need to get him back up on a fucking shelf. I might do some uh, little close up shots in a bit of, uh, of these. I'll just flip around. Nothing on there. Let me just put some on this side. But yeah. Little fucking awesome stuff there. Really nice that. Proper nice. Um, but yeah, with the misfits being so big, you also do the necker. So they've done a few different releases at the minute of um, from necker. That light's a bit blaring a little bit, but it'll be right. Um, I got there's this one and a red one, um, but the red one's a little bit different. It's a little bit special. Um, I'll just show you that one next. But yeah, back in the day, I got it signed by Doyle, which is pretty fucking awesome. Um, the artwork's insane, and that's pretty cool to have it signed by Doyle. It's when he did his. Uh, uh, when it comes to the UK quite a bit so I've always tried to go and make the effort to go and meet him I know I don't think he's a fan of meeting Greeks but from what I've heard <laughs> but yeah that's uh, still pretty fucking cool and the misfit stuff and then um, also not really the biggest fan of Pops but I got him signing this uh, Misfits Pops I don't think they do the pop uh, Misfits pop vinyl anymore, so it might be rare that. Who the fuck knows? Uh, right, are we on? Twenty-one minutes I'm recording on. So should I do my most random stuff now then? Just a quick note because I pulled these out as well. Um, I found some. And we signed Blitzkid stuff. A little vinyl here. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Signed by Goolsby. I got that at Hell Knights as well. He signed all this shit for me. And then CDs. I think these are hard to come by as well nowadays, aren't they? <laughs> um, but yeah. Nice gold pen on that, isn't there? Well, yeah, pretty fucking awesome. Those are just I put I kept all that I only blitz kid stuff together, so but speaking of which, me blitz kid gear. Um I come across an old school back patch. And then a nice little orange one. A bit creased up and he's ironing out a bit, but yeah, um I've, I've come across quite a few back patches really. I need to start sorting some out so they're just fucking holding on to them. Um But yeah, it's been fucking awesome. I'm glad they're back. I'm glad they're doing some more um 
dates and they've been coming back to Europe a bit more. Hopefully we can get a fucking UK date, that'll be pretty fucking sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm fucking pumped to have them all back. Um, and hopefully, I want to try and get some more some interviews sorted out. Um, and then it's a case of we can all talk and see what's what's happening with people, try and get some buzz going again. Um, but right, for the Blitz Kid stuff, uh, I came across this bad boy as well. It's the, like I was like saying before, this was the when they did the end tour in 2012 farewell show they did um, in Newport I took a video of it and it's like the quality now is just insane and that's like what 10 years um, and then from that gig I'll just do it this way got a signed poster by him look at that rip oh kills me but of the line up at the time Last ever European tour. Um, that was full lineup. I'm what I'm doing with that is basically getting that sized up, and I'm getting it fucking framed because it's battered, and I don't want any more damage done to it. So that's why it was quick that one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, right. I've got my last two little items for you, which um, are Blitz Kid related. And one of them is really helps my inner nerd. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen these uh, that they did. The um, plastic assembly kit of Nosferatu. Um, I've got two of them. So one's got opened and then one's sealed, which I've got in the other room. But I don't like I'm one of them guys that keeps stuff in its fucking box. <laughs> so when I opened this, it was crazy. But we'll have a look, shall we? Just so you can see. Nice little certificate here. Number seven. Signed by the ghouls, man. And then they came with um, this patch. Oh, drives me insane. And it all open. Oh shit. Oh shit. Comedy veil. Dropping the camera. Uh, yeah, it came with the um, patch and a pin. And then uh, the download card there. So, I'm going to try and not throw my camera on the floor again. And then all the pieces are all here, different heads. Yeah. And then this bad boy. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's cool as fuck. I can't paint. Can't fucking any of this kind of stuff. I don't bother doing because it's too fucking fiddly. And with these big fucking things, it don't work. Um, but yeah, um, if I had the patience and skill, I would make it. But I obviously don't. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty fucking cool thing to have that. It makes my inner nerd happy. So badass. Let me just. Oh man, boom. But yeah, it's very fucking nice this. I'm glad that I've got it. Oh, it's in the dark as well. Right, so for my last one, um I got this um a long time ago and it's very one of a kind. I, uh, I think there's a few more out there, but I've only seen a few photos. Um, I don't know how it's going to work here, but let me try and see this. Right. Ghouls uh, drew this. Gilman from Creature of Black Goon on uh, this fucking drum skin, which is absolutely fucking badass. This is probably the fa my favourite piece that I own of like random fucking merch. It's a bit, you know, unique, this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Um, I've been wanting to do this kind of video for a little while. 
Uh, but I've just got that much stuff and then I'm trying to sort it all out was a bit of a fucking nightmare, but I'm glad I'm doing it now. Um, what I might try and do with this is uh, rig it up and put some lights behind it or something like that. So that'd be pretty fucking cool. Um, but yeah, me outs. Um, I've made an absolute fucking mess. Uh, but I just want to make this quick video with you. Um, talk a little bit of shit and show you all the cool stuff. Um, what kind of merch have you guys got out there? Have you got anything unique like this? And if you have, I would like to see fucking photos of these other drum skins because I know we did some. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fucking awesome. Um, I like all the nerdy shit. Um, and I love the horror punk stuff. I want to try and get that shit back going again. Um, but yeah, so we've got some updates. Um, we'll do some... Uh, let me try and flip this round onto my fat head. Wee. Um, yeah, I've got the strap as well open because my fucking fat head. Sweet ass hat. The ADHD is strong today, if you've not fucking noticed. <laughs> oh, but yeah, pretty much. Uh, Hall of Brains is coming back. Um, really looking forward to building it all up again and getting all this shit up. I want to do a make a permanent uh, um, setup, so I've got all my fucking cameras all ready and I can do different things like this um, and be able to plug my laptop in, try and get some interviews, either if it's a case of doing shit over the internet, which for me, I'd rather do it in person. Um, but if that's what we have to do, it's what we have to do. I just want to try and get some uh, interviews going. Um, talk to some different people across, uh, all across the world. You know, we're all in, in it together. We all love this fucking music, so why the fuck not? Um, just be, love the music, support what we're going to do, and go from there. Um, but yeah, so that's my my fucking stuff. Um, no doubt we've got some more fucking shit coming up. Um, and I'll be, you know, I can do some more videos and do what we need to do. Um, just for gigs and stuff like that. Um, I think there's a few starting to happen now. Um, as soon as I've paid for some fucking gig tickets and everything's all locked in, I'll do some updates and I'll let you know where we're going, what we're doing. Um, and yeah, you know, do some more trips and have some fun and games. Still need to get fucking Monster and Lucas um, about. I know it's just me talking shit as normal, but I was like, get them two back at it. We'll all fucking do it together, but I just thought, make a quick video, half an hour later, um, and just, you know, try and get things going again. Try and get a bit more fucking momentum, and yeah, all that fucking fun stuff. So, yeah. Um, I will leave you to it, my odds, and stop talking shit. I don't think, I, I'm basically just doing this. I've got no fucking notes written down, I've got no nothing, I'm just blagging it, as always. Um, but yeah, right, I'm going, ADHD, um, I'll catch you on the fucking flip side, uh, subscribe and all that fucking jazz, because I want to try and get more of a fucking, um, buzz going, like we used to have, because we used to have a lot of interaction with people, they died down for a bit, so I'm trying to get some fucking amp back, shout out to fucking all you guys for even just checking it out, whether it's fucking one of you, or 100 of you, I fucking appreciate it, um, and yeah, if I don't see you on the flip side, I'll see you at some gigs, we'll have a beer, we'll do whatever, sweet, I'm going now, stop talking shit, gals, get the fuck out of here, so alright, I appreciate it, meows, I will catch you on the flip, bye.